Do you know what we're doing today, Abe? That's right. We're doing a cooking video. You don't look so impressed. <laughs> All right, let's go. New York, day two. The steaming sewers of New York. Mm. Sorry. <laughs> Too much. <laughs> they think Montreal has a lot of orange cones. In New York City, they have the big ones. They have the big ones, eh? Yeah. The big cone. That's a big cone. You want a donut? Everyone wants that donut that has big on top. Okay, so first things first, we've been boxed in. As you can see, look hey, at this. There's a car behind you. I know, you. I see the car, but look at this. Look at the box in. Look at that. We are doing a cooking collaboration with someone named Steve. I don't know his last name. He's doing a cooking video because he has a cooking YouTube show called Not Another Cooking Show. And he actually looks like a um, quasi-legitimate chef. He reached out to me once via Instagram a while back in July, like almost a year ago. And then we said, oh, maybe we'll be one day we'll be up in New York. Anyways, we're in New York. We're going to meet him, do a cooking collaboration video with him. What are we cooking, guys? I was checking out his Instagram channel. <laughs> B roll. We're not, like we're not in New York not City anymore. Cross County. Are we in Yonkers? I don't know, we're not lost yet. He said pick the food and we'll do a cooking video with the food, and Marion wisely suggested we actually cook a food that kids and people might eat for lunch. Chicken tenders and sweet potato fries is the food of the day that we're gonna do a cooking video to, and I'm just gonna do the backdrop interview with the food freak, Steve. Found the white picket fences. We're looking for a collaboration, sir. Oh, how are you? <laughs> Don't park in a private spot over here. We're in New York. They'll tow you so fast. All right, guys, guys. Well, look, we're going into somebody else's house. So basically treat it like grandma's place. Grandma's place? We destroy grandma's Treat it nicely. Place. Come, let's go uh, learn how to cook. Maybe I can learn a thing or two today. This is totally normal. <laughs> we're in the, the cooking location. Hello. They have lighting and they have like a... Hello. There's an actual cooking studio. Look at this. It's clean. On, Children, this is what our kitchen should look like. We're going to keep it this way the whole time too. This is really, really amazing. There's a rule of cooking that you need to know. It's called ABC. I'm going to say always be clean, but... Always be cleaning. Always all the time. Be That's the, the best rule you can ever have in the kitchen. Always be... <laughs> Here we can see what we're gonna make the chicken strips out of. That looks like um, a little salad. Cheese. What's the cheese? Parmesan. 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 Yeah. Sweet potato. That's a big sweet potato. Oh. How old are you? Twenty-two. Thirty-three. Thirty-three. Oh my goodness. I do YouTube stuff for a living. Okay. I actually own my own food truck in the city uh, with my brother and uh, one other person. What kind of food truck? grilled cheese and then I sort of like didn't know what to do for a while a friend of mine who worked in advertising asked me to start shooting um, like social media photos stage stuff for uh, uh, tribe hummus and I liked it I was sort of good at it so I figured out how to use a camera and that led me to sort of package all the skills I learned in the last 10 years into this show Canon 5D shooting Beautiful. at 60 frames per second this is all the time shooting at 24 frames per second I can pull this off and then throw this yeah, if you put a camera right here, it looks like a bright window, a shining light straight from the behind the stove. And every now and again, you can pretend you're holding a lightsaber. <laughs> That's uh, a typical dad joke. I may be going to B and H to get me one of these. Uh, <laughs> yes. Look it in the eyes like your best friend. It's this camera right here. That's this camera. <laughs> Hello, camera. Hi, uh, you're my best friend. Nice to see you, camera. So you guys are on, and I am backing out. Remember what you're learning so that I know how to do it. You actually cook for flavor and not just for pure sustenance. I'm a, somewhat of a hedonist, so for sure I want to eat as well as I can every time I eat. Don't get into bad habits, Mila. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to spoil you today so that your dad has to try extra hard. Let him show you. You can't. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. That's perfect. We can work like with that. Yes. Not me. Do you want to mix it around? Yeah. All salt does is make it taste more of what it should taste like. My mother always told me that salt gives you high blood pressure and you have no, to not have a lot of salt. Crazy. A mix of regular Italian seasoned breadcrumbs. And this. 
This is panko. These are Japanese style breadcrumbs. I think Ethan's world is being rocked right now. <laughs> Japanese breadcrumbs? <laughs> what? I don't like the fries. I already told you that. It's so heavy. All the nutrients are in the skin, so why don't we just leave them on? Try and get them as even as you can. Why do you um, coat them in cornstarch? So their sweet potatoes have a higher moisture content, so they're a little bit harder to get crispy. Coat them lightly in it's some of this cornstarch. That's just gonna help it achieve like a little crispy exterior. If I learn nothing else today other than that, this has been a productive cooking day. What do you say? Booyakasha! The way you cut a chicken really matters. If you cut it along the grain, the grains can't separate as easily. The grain is sort of running across the meat like that, so I want to cut the opposite way. Dad, come here. Hey, let me in. That's my cue to stop vlogging. Hold on. <laughs> So what we want to do now is we've got this little crispy exterior. There's a lot of sugar in these, so they're going to get a nice little color. And this is, is where love comes in, you know what I mean? Mila, yeah. are you remembering all of this? No. We're getting to the cooking of the chicken part, um, which is good because everybody's getting hungry. Are you hungry? Olive oil has a little bit of a lower smoke point. So when you try and fry something like this, there's a likelihood that it could burn, even though I do do fry chicken cutlets in olive oil, but that's just a stubborn Italian thing. When Marion was telling me not to cook with extra virgin olive oil because of the smoke point, she was actually correct. Again. I'm just going to add enough oil to sort of cover the bottom of the pan. So I'm just gonna drop them in. This is when you cue the how much oil does it absorb? It only absorbs a lot when your frying temperature is off. If the temperature of the oil is right, it should not be greasy and like absorb lots of oil. And so we're just gonna let that go until we get color and we start to get a nice browning. And then you're done. You wanna make sure you, you take them off and put them on a wire rack, not like a paper towel line thing. This is just gonna make sure they don't get soggy when you're done cooking. A big one. Good? You want to go get one from mom? Yeah. Red fly! Mmm! Wow! Delicious! Did you help make these? Why are you so many bubbles? Delicious. What do you say? Good. Ethan, do you want to try some? No, that's fine, please. It's really, really good. That's amazing. That's amazing. Simple. Mm. Forget about it. Who are you, Gordon Ramsay? <laughs> now we got a salad. Some more Daddy, 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 salad. Look at this. Chicken. That chicken. That chicken. That chicken. I don't have any fancy sliders. So I just do this. Amazing. How is it? It's amazing. So what do we think, guys? New, new, uh, Daddy. new dinner on the weeknights. Daddy, I want to make who's, who's in charge of that? Nothing weird about this. We're just, Steve, thank you very much. That was thank phenomenal. Thank you so much for having. Uh, um, for having thank you for having me. Th thank you very much for taking me. No, we'll start this all again. <laughs> Thank you very much. That was absolutely delicious and phenomenal, and I'll try it at home. Thanks for coming, man. I really appreciate you guys coming. I enjoyed hanging out with the kids. And They've the been family. very well behaved. Nice family friendly content for my show. Awesome. And we'll do it again. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I've got an actual law related conference call coming up in one minute. Ugh. And I gotta get quiet time from the kids.
in order to do it. Oh my gosh, it's on, it's on, okay. Like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell. There's a part three coming to this because we're on spring break in New York. Tell your friends, grandparents, parents about my channel. Help me grow, I appreciate it. I gotta get on the call, it's on. Peace out.